Keto Chicks. Hi everybody, I'm Tina. And I'm Jamie. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, Keto Chicks. Chicks. So Tina and I have been working on implementing a ketogenic lifestyle into our lives over the past few months. And over the past few months we've got many questions from our friends and family about how we do things, recipes that we use. So we decided that we are going to create a video series mm -hmm. of some things that we can make help people out with recipes and tips and tricks with their ketogenic lifestyle. And today we are going to do a um, cloud chocolate chip fat bomb, which is super simple, super easy, and a great way to um, implement some good fats into your body through a ketogenic lifestyle. So what we did is we are going to be doubling the recipe today. Um, so we did two 8 ounce packages of cream cheese. We're gonna have um, six tablespoons of Swerve, which is the, the uh, sugar substitute that we use. And then we're gonna have a half a cup of Lily chocolate chips, which are great for you. They are sweetened with stevia, so it's a chocolate chip that you can have and it's good for you. And so and we're just gonna, carb. and it's low carb. And so we're just gonna kinda make it right now and let you guys see how we do it. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up the cheese. Which we pre softened. You can leave it out on your counter or you can zap it in your microwave for yep. like 30 seconds. Yeah, because me, I didn't, I just forgot to take it out. So I just warmed it up a tiny bit in the microwave just to get it soft. And so we're just going to mix it enough just to kind of get it a little creamy and get all the lumps out. And now we're going to go ahead and add in our cheese or our, our sugar substitute. Six tablespoons. And it's sometimes hard, like for us in Vegas, I don't know about anybody else anywhere else, but the swerve sugar I find very hard to find in local stores. So I go on Amazon and I purchase it and I buy it in bulk so that I always have it. And it's a great substitute. It's one of my favorite because it doesn't have kind of like a a crazy aftertaste like some of them do. Now we're going to mix that up in here. It smells good. I know, these are one of my favorite. It's the simplest one and um, one of the tastiest which is the reason we kind of wanted to make this one first because we wanted to show like it's super simple to do these types of things. And then I like to kind of speed up my blender beads a little bit, then turn it off to get the excess. And, and there we go. And now we're gonna add in our chocolate chips and just kind of fold them in there. And we have half a cup Super creamy. These are the yummiest. And you can also, like I've even added um, the uh, different, um, what's it called? You know, like vanilla. Flavorings. Flavorings. I've added vanilla before. I've added butterscotch. I've added um, caramel. So there's different ways you can even make them taste differently, but plain, they are amazing. So we just kind of fold it in our chips and we are ready to them out. We have that, um, we have a just a cookie sheet and we've lined it with some parchment paper. So just a melon baller. Yep. Makes it easy to come in and out. Just that's all you do. Scoop it, put it on the parchment paper. You guys are gonna love these. They're so yummy. And then after you get them all on the parchment paper, you put them in the freezer for 30 minutes, and then you store them in the refrigerator. And then just pop one every now and then when you feel like you want a little snack. They're perfect to snack on. So that's the kind of questions we get a lot of is like, what do you do for a snack? What do you do when you have like that craving for something? This right here takes care of any craving that you have because it literally tastes like you're having a dessert that you shouldn't be having. So it's good to always have these. We try and make them in my house on Sundays and do like several different ones. And then there we stick them in the freezer and they are kept for the whole week and we kind of just 
cycle through what, what I've made for on that Sunday and they're great to have so keep them on tap and you guys will be loving them just as much as we do. I think that's it. So thank you so much. We're going to pop these in the freezer and we're going to enjoy them later. Thanks for joining us on our first video and our first um, fat bomb and we look forward to many videos with you guys. Feel free to ask any questions and if you have any requests for any recipes that you'd like us to do, we're available. We to do all yep, of them. we'd so. answer all your questions. Thanks for joining us, the Keto Chicks. Talk to you Bye. soon.